Hello, my name is Ruth Carter and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona and this is your question of the day. So, somebody asked me, is the Bing image search with license filter set to free to modify, share, and use commercially a safe way to use images from the internet or is there still a risk that they are copyrighted? Okay, so once you have created an original work of authorship fixed in a tangible medium, you have a copyright in your work. So you don't have to register your work with the U.S. Copyright Office to get your rights. You just have your rights by creating it. Now, if you want to do searches for images to use using filters that allow that limit the results to images that come with the license to modify, commercialize is a good place to start. But even then I would look at where these images are coming from because there are some sites that claim to have free images that are really suspect. Um, and I've seen situations where people have thought they were doing the right thing, pulled an image from a site that claimed to have a license to use for free, um, and it turns out that the act that where they got it from stole the image from somebody else and the actual copyright holder sent a bill for the use um, and a cease and desist letter. So you've got to be careful. There's always a risk that your source pulled these images, are using these images illegally. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to be completely safe, go to the source and get a written license from whoever owns the copyright. Um, you know, bonus if they've registered the image and they can actually show you the registration certificate. Um, but that often, especially photography, doesn't happen because they don't register it. It's just not cost effective, and they're not interested in suing in the event that you violate their copyright. So. Um, is it a good place to start to do a search with those uh, filters in place? Yes, but then look at where you're pulling these images from and see um, if it looks like a source that is legit versus um, a site that is just stealing images from other people. So uh, you may want to look into some of the places like Creative Commons or other licensing sites where you can pay a little bit to get a license. Um, those might be better places for you to look for images to use. Um, of course, watching this video does not create an attorney-client relationship with any viewer. It's merely legal information, not legal advice. If you need legal advice, go hire somebody. I put out new content every week, so please subscribe to the channel. And until then, I will catch up with you later. Take care.